welcome back in. Broadway SF has a very exciting new musical for all audiences. The High Flying Show is one you'll probably be familiar with. It's been taking audiences to another world for 70 years now. Peter Pan starts showing tonight. We have Cody Garcia, an actor in the musical, here with us today. Hi, Cody. Hello. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, thank you so much for being here. We are so excited to hear about Peter Pan. I think this is bringing back nostalgia for me. I know, Loved just hearing it. the name, right? You're yes. already like, Peter Pan, you're already there. Yes. Yes. Won't grow up. Very, very fun. I want to talk first about your character in this yes, musical. Yes, You're playing yes, Captain yes. Hook. The redeemable Captain Hook, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I'm just saying, if, if there's actually any villains in the show, <laughs> is it, you know, the person that got their hand cut off and fed to a crocodile, or is it the kid <laughs> that did it? You know, I'm just saying. See, I was going to originally call you the villain in the intro, and then I was like, but is he really? Is, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of depth here, and I think people need to give it its uh, proper energy. Okay, so how has it been? <laughs> Take me through becoming Captain Hook. Oh gosh. Well, there, I don't want to say anything. I don't want to give anything away yes. because, okay, like okay. you said, that this this uh, musical has been gracing stages for the last 70 years. Yes. It was written for Mary Martin, and uh, now so this is an updated version of that musical. And uh, and yeah, we're touring around, and I don't want to give anything away. So you should come see it at the Golden Gate Theater this week. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so you're Captain Hook. Obviously, we already kind of know, we're familiar with the other characters, mm -hmm. right? So tell us how it has been uh, working with this cast. Uh, yeah, so, well, this production has been updated uh, by Larissa Fast Horse, who is the first Indigenous woman to have a play on Broadway, um, the Thanksgiving play. It was, I saw it. It was amazing. Yeah, you check it out. Um, and also check out Peter Pan. Um, uh, but yeah, so it's been updated. Tiger Lily's entire character has been updated uh, and her uh, tribe um, so that it doesn't do as much harm to indigenous communities mm. that it's been doing since uh, Peter Pan's kind of inception, uh, which was longer than 70 years. It's been around mm -hmm. since the early 1900s. And, uh, but, but people love the story and people, uh, we, keep, we keep doing it because we love it so much. Very cool. Um, I want to talk about your background and mm -hmm. how you got into this, how you got into Broadway. Share a little bit about yeah, us. I mean, I've been acting my entire life, uh, I mean, ever since I was a wee babe. Uh, I, I was like working in a black box theater, working in proscenium theaters, kind of like all over the place. And so I'd always been acting. And then I got, got into musicals uh, like junior year of high school. And then I just kind of can't get away from them now. So, uh, but yeah, so I've done, this is my third national tour. Wow. Um, uh, before this, I was Buddy in Elf the Musical. And before that, I was Willy Wonka and Charlie wow. in the Chocolate Factory. Um, and that, that, those were fun. But I've also done other things. Like I, last year before I started this, I did uh, Frankenfurter in Rocky Horror, and that was wow. so fun. How do you pick characters? Like, do you have a specific type of character that you want to play? Uh, I do a lot of different characters. I don't know that I necessarily have a specific type, uh, but I kind of just make whatever work. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, wait, I have to ask you because you you were in Willy Wonka. Did you see yesterday Timothy Chalamet? attended his, or two days ago, he attended the his look own lookalike look contest. I did not see that oh, he was there. Oh, it's so funny. You got to see it. So he shows up. Okay. At the, yeah. I mean, I saw the, all the videos of that. It's and so I, funny. Yeah, they were yeah. hilarious. It's amazing. The whole thing got broken up by police. All right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I want to say something, but I won't. <laughs> Very cool. You get to play so many different characters. This seems like such a fun job and so fun for the audience to see a nostalgic show like this one. What do you hope they take away from it? Um, well, I'm, everyone has a very complicated relationship to growing up. And I think that this show does a great job of sort of letting you like see that head on. And uh, what the... Um, creatives wanted to do with this show is make any kid uh, in the States think that they can see Peter Pan outside their window. So we wanted to make it more universal and more um, more open to everybody that can mm -hmm. that is in the audience. We were kind of tipped off that this would be a different performance of Peter Pan from mm. what we're typically seeing. Now, is mm. that mainly in the Tiger Lily aspect or how do you think it's different from the Well, original? Tiger Lily is in a lot more of it and yeah. she does a lot more. She also has a scene with Wendy. Wendy does a lot more. So um, there's a lot more like just female uh, activity in the show oh. in general. Uh, but also Peter Pan is played by a man, man, little boy this time. Uh, normally that part uh, it was written for Mary Martin. So mm -hmm. uh, historically since then it's been uh, played by a woman. But now uh, it's played by Nolan Almeida, who's uh, a 17-year-old high school star. And uh, yeah, he's doing a great job. Awesome. How long does it take? Because I know there must be so much effort that goes into a production like this. How long does it take for you to learn this character? 
Oof. Well, we put we brought this kind of from the ground up. This production has not been done before. Um, I mean, like this show has been done before, but this specific production has not. So, um, so we were figuring a lot of stuff out. It took a like month rehearsal process uh, when we were in New York. Lonnie Price, the director, is amazing, and he uh, let us try things. Let it, he like wanted it to be different, like not like exactly the same Peter Pan that mm -hmm. you've always seen your entire life. Um, and I'm really pleased to have worked with him on that because I also really wanted to change Hook so that you're not just seeing the exact same hook you've always seen. It's just like, it's just a little different um, and yeah. Very cool. Still get the childhood nostalgia, but something yeah, very fresh. Yeah, so definitely hitting like all the chords yes. that I feel like need to be played um, on this instrument, but also it's a, it's a whole instrument like that can be played in, in whatever way you want. Fabulous. And if people want to come out and see the show, tell them when it's... Uh, BroadwaySF.com. Uh, it's through Sunday, November 3rd. Come okay. check it out. Awesome, Cody. Thank you so, so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Of course. To learn more, head to our website, liveinthebay.tv. We'll have links to find tickets there. Jess, what have you got next for us? Rachel.